Ah! It's your boy, Wild Busy Baby, here to react to the October 30th Halloween edition of NXT. And I'm gonna say, right off the bat, it was absolute thunder. One of the absolute best episodes of NXT that I have ever, ever seen. Started off the show with the upcoming band, Poppy, performing live. And they brought out Io Shirai. And she took on Candice LeRae. And they had an absolutely phenomenal contest. One of the absolute best professional wrestling matches I've seen in 2019. And it was Io Shirai defeating the excellent, magnificent Candice LeRae. Didn't want to see her win. But I'll tell you what, she won me over as a fan after that. Between that entrance and that spectacular contest, Io Shirai just won herself a fan. So props on that one. Absolutely. And I'll tell you what else was thunder. That promo that Finn Balor cut. And he went into shoot mode right away, talking about how he was supposed to lay down for Bray Wyatt just because he had a cool new mask and how he says the business watches him he doesn't watch the business and how he's going to be the best star going forward man I, I've n I have not seen this fire from Finn Balor in the three years that he's been in the WWE I have not seen it before and seeing that side of uh, Prince Devitt, the Demon King, Finn Balor, was quite incredible. I'll tell you what else was incredible. The absolutely terrific women's uh, tag team, world tag team title match with uh, the Kabuki Warriors and uh, Tiga Knox and, uh, oh God, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. But yeah, it was... Uh, it was a great match. It really was. And then uh, it was the Kabuki Warriors, Kairi Sane and Asuka retaining their uh, women's tag team titles. It was, it was one of the best matches I've, I've seen from the women in quite some time. It was, it was a fantastic, flawless situation. And then that led to half the locker room emptying out. And now we're going to get the very first ever women's two-ring steel cage war games match. And I am super eager to see that. And then the ending of the show was Red Dragon, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish. And they took on Matt Riddle and Rick, former Ring of Honor alumni Keith Lee. And then that, that was a pretty good match. And then it was Red Dragon, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish getting the victory. Thanks to a little bit of help of Alcohol, baby. Oh, yes. And then it was Tommaso Ciampa coming out and laying out everybody but Adam Cole with the crutch. I mean, he's become synonymous with that damn crutch, let me tell you. That's going to be like uh, his version of Triple H's sledgehammer. He's, he's going to keep carrying that crutch just like how Cowboy Bob Orton kept uh, wearing a cast and how uh, William Regal... Always had brass knuckles. Like the, he's making the crutch that much a part of his uh, gimmick, for sure, 100%. That was a fun ending, for sure. And you guys hear that Young Bucks music in the background? Yes, they are the elite, the the elite. But it was NXT who was the elite, the the elite tonight in their broadcast. 
I honestly thought it blew AEW out of the water. And uh, this is only the second time I've reacted uh, to NXT since uh, they took over because I haven't this hasn't really been much to talk about there, but tonight was an exceptional episode and an exceptional show. And AEW kicked ass, but uh, NXT was the bomb.com. Not a 10 out of 10, but an 11 out of 10. Thumbs through the damn roof. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Thunder or Blunder. Make sure that you follow me on Twitter at Wallbucks. And I'm also now on Instagram at Thunder or Blunder. And on TikTok at Thunder or Blunder. One of the best episodes of NXT we've got in quite some time. Thumbs through the roof. See you guys later.